Huh, so the fire's gone now. I want to see what... What building is that? Like, let's just head towards it. So it's it's literally one of the only two tall buildings in... um. Oh, is this actually in a... Oh, this is in Myrtle. I thought this was in a... Wait, this isn't Myrtle. Oh. I thought this was, like... I thought this was, like, over here. Holy shit. This city... Freaking Anchor is, in fact, that big. Anchor's so big, I thought these two buildings were actually over here. It's not. It's not. It's within the same damn place. Jeez. Like, I'm still not really wrapping my head well around how big this place actually is. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, yeah. I remember my psychological quandary at the fact that this is not really numbered correctly, so I'm going to have, like, a weird amount of, um, subsections. Oh, well. We can just say the park, which is... Oh, the park's only one tile wide as well. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. Yeah, that's going to be interesting. So th there's an apartment chunk over here. I kind of want to put an apartment section over here as well. Although I could do worse. Like, instead of allo A, allowing buses, I was going to B, make them as cramped as this place right here. Just four tiles deep. And no regrets. <laughs> Which um, I'm going to do, actually. Well, do them like right here. Like right there. Yeah, let's just do undo my work here. So we'll kind of have them like right here. This just seems like a nightmare waiting to happen, but it's okay. As with most of my designs, this is appreciable. Do some sort of really weird uh, masochism. Okay, so I'm definitely going to have to reorder those lines as well. Or those uh, street sections. And last but not least... Uh, actually, hmm. How am I going to do this one? I could do it like that. Then I can grab that one. Science! With something that dense and just pure alleyway, I'm probably going to just turn it back to what I did over here, which the alleyways are just so close together, there's no point to have, like, a center lane, which I don't know why that one still has a center lane. That seems, like, more problematic than it's worth. Uh, yeah, there's a center lane in that freaking 50-foot, not even 50, like a 20-foot span. <laughs> Actually, this is a six lane. Why did I turn that into a... That's odd. I thought it was the four lane. Whoops. My apologies. Uh, where, where the hell is that? Here it is. Yeah, so see, these have the four lane. The four lane with the center. See, the, uh, that center lane is usually only good when there's multiple intersections in short distance of each other, but not as short as what I have over here. That is just absurd. I don't believe it has any benefit whatsoever. So we can do that to this side as... There is something going on down there, and i got to fix it. There it is. This is not connected to a route anymore. Why? Okay, so now they got reconnected. I, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I don't know what the hell that was. Okay, so back to business. Like that, like that. So this is just cramming really narrow streets down. 
Which, you know, is fine. That traffic light situation is not going to get any better, though. And... I think I did it like that. I think I did it like that. Uh, that little crook in the bend. Maybe. How the hell with it? Let's remove that. And that's where the commercial line starts anyway, so I don't know why I was making any attempt to do that. <laughs> Poor service truck. <laughs> he was just trying to go about his day. There we go. So now this should be okay. It is acceptable. Okay, yep. And it's just the traffic BS now. Because that's just... No one wants to be part of that. Don't worry. This is part of my no traffic lights policy. I almost said no traffic lights left behind. I'm like, no, actually, they were all left behind. Uh, the game. <laughs> the game does not like my choices in life. I'm pretty sure just activating this mod, though, just... It's trying to keep track of where all the traffic lights e exist and don't exist, so I guess... Maybe it's trying to render all of it or something? It's very stuttery. I mean, the frame... I do have my frame, frame counter, like a Steam overlay frame counter on the upper right there, and it's like 15 frames right now. But uh, I think it more has related to do with having the tool active. Because usually when I deactivate this tool, which you'll see in a second, it'll generally free up 10 frames. At least this isn't a game that doesn't require frame rate fidelity. Uh, yep, so if I hit escape, it brings it up to like 24, which is like watchable. Okie dokie. So I don't know if I just want, like, a really long stretch. I could split this in half, though, because... These aren't supposed to be this long. Like, these types of, uh... These types of city blocks. This one is fine, though. It's supposed to be, like, a section of 33, so... This one, on the other hand, I don't know what to do with it. Actually, I I think I have an idea. Since this is seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Since this is seven, and the center tile is only one wide, I could probably just have the tile go over one, like that. I don't know, something different. Same thing with that one. So I can have it be on the outside here. Whoops, wrong road. Like that. Just have it over one. Like that. Something very, you know, different. Just very slight subtleties. To destroy the monotony that is the road network. That would be a boring cha uh, channel, wouldn't it? If they actually had, like... Uh, <laughs> like a channel dedicated to road construction, the road network. Or what if they had like dramas based on the lives of construction workers and trying to make deadlines and shit? That'd be, you know what? I'm, I'd actually watch at least one episode of that. I mean, it's kind of like those, uh, it's kind of like people going about their daily lives, you know, their mundane blue collar lives. And it's like, this is life for them, but everyone wants to see, you know, life on the other side type of deal. So, that's why you have like deadliest catch and that those uh, that one American TV show about the gold miners and stuff. And it's like, um, it's just life. You're making money off other people's livelihoods and their struggles.
which I mean, if they're okay with, that's fine. But for me, it's just life. I mean, if if it was if it was meant to give some real insightful perspective to people uh, that are more privileged, you know, of more repute, and they have like lots and lots of money, or they're living off a trust fund. And it's like they want to know how the everyman survives out in the world while they get their money given to them. Um, it, it, it's worth it's it's worth the perspective. But in most cases, it's just simple people watching other simple people. And I don't really see a point in it. It's kind of why I don't really watch network TV or cable TV anymore. And then again, you're talking to the guy who watches YouTube a lot. Like a lot, a lot. And even though the content's fairly new especially with the amount of people I'm subscribed to, I I feel like I, I never ha have to watch reruns because it's YouTube, you know? Con there's always fresh new content. That's another thing, too. Like, moving away from television, it's like I, I never really watch reruns anymore. Why? Because reruns aren't really a thing. I no longer have to deal with that stuff. YouTubers are fairly good at making new con new, fresh content every week. And in some cases, every day. So... It's uh, it's definitely progress, I must admit. Not one I thought I'd foresee growing up. But YouTube is uh, fairly gaining in its maturity. But only time will tell. I mean, YouTube Red was a thing, or is a thing. So people, um, people grow old and change. And the more things change, the more they stay the same. There you go. So now the commercial for once actually showed up like commercial demand. Okay, so that's filling out. Like I'm filling out Anchor. Now I should start trying to fill this out. I just don't exactly know how. I do want some major streets. What if I, what if, what if, hear me out. What if I had like a major road in the middle that ringed around like a racetrack and then everyone fed off of it? So, like, I ha would have an on-ramp here, for instance. For template's sake, we're going to link this up here. So, what if I had something like this? Then had this around the sides. Or should I make it closer in? I could make it closer in. It's so like have the outer sections be, you know, just just your run of the mill residential, and then the inner section be uh be commercial. That's actually quite an idea. So let's split it so we can actually have alleyways again, because the alleyways I don't know it might be a placebo effect, but they do seem to um, alleviate some traffic mostly because it gives people alternate means of of uh, approaching. Or entering an area. Or utilizing transit. There you go. So the center areas can be just, the center area can be just pure commercial. But yeah, I mean we have some pathways here, and even though I don't really have traffic data, why is this guy jutting into the uh you know what? I don't even care. He's gone. <laughs> He's like jutting into the alleyway. So like if we do something like where is it? Something like this just make like a roundabout section in the center here well not a roundabout but one that loops back on itself damn it so we can have this road nope there's that overlap that I don't want to see. There we go. There we go. Then we turn that. Be careful with how I upgrade, because I, I can accidentally... Oh, wait, I can't accidentally upgrade the freeway. That's good. That's actually good. That Without Road Anarchy on, I I can't just flagrantly undo and destroy everything I've... 
did that guy seriously park out here? There was like a utility truck parked out there, and I think he was he lived across the way. Silly dude. So this one will just be kind of your run of the mill quaint little town like um like Pino Colada. Just this scenario will be more or less chock full of people, like um chock full of uh commercial and stuff. Actually, I want to back that up a little more, just so I can have, like, the little, the little, uh, alleyway, and then just have this butt up against it. Whoops. Like, there's no point in putting, like, a four-way here, or not a four-way, um, a roundabout here. There you go. So even though it kind of occupies that that center, it's it's fine. Now we grab that. This actually might this actually might turn out pretty decent. This area right here. Okay, so we're gonna kind of use the same standard over here. The only difference is this will probably, like, lift up and meet up with uh, these roads. So we'll probably have, like, one side link up here and then another side link up in the other direction. That could be one way to do it. Uh, let's see... I mean, this is this is this is nice. I wish I had a, a a formula though to figure out like how many streets with alleyways I can pack in the center here. I can just do like oblong land, just make some really weird angles here, just to kind of zigzag it. I mean, it would break it up. That's what I should have done. I should have made all of this in interior here a little bit uh, unusual, because I mean. I haven't done that in a while. Display. Display a really crazy... You know what? <laughs> Changing my mind on the fly. Because that's what I do best. Okay, so... The only stipulation I really want to have is the fact that... Um, let's see... Okay, so I'm going to have the incoming come out from here. Okay, so so before I start re revising my original plan, let me figure out where the hell people are going to come from first. So this is going to be the point of entry. This will be the point of entry. Uh, that's a little bit much. I'm I, even I will admit that's a little bit much. Um, this will be the point of entry for the, um, where is it? Elevated, uh, default. This will be like the point of entry for the upper deck here. And the reason why I'm choosing it on this side is because, um, There you go. Instead of it coming this way, because what I plan on having is, you know, your road section be like that. So now they can enter because if I if I put it right here, they'll try to exit out on top of each other. And that's just a problem. I mean, I don't feel like it'll be congested coming into the freeway as it is exiting the freeway is, is what I'm getting at. Or exiting the town onto the freeway is probably more likely to get clogged up because of everyone trying to leave than people entering. Because people entering tend to just kind of slowly fill in. And so that's why I'm okay with ha having it like this. And then we're just going to continue the pattern. And then from this crazy idea... Yo, so innovative. Oh. 
amazing, groundbreaking, different. Everyone will buy into this. It's like the new Call of Duty. And this one, there you go. Hell, if anything, since I'm going to revise this anyway, I'll just keep on going. Because why the hell not? I mean, I'm pretty sure a lot of people are getting sick and tired of seeing just grids. Every once in a while I do, but... Oh, wow, this actually snaps over the... Oh, nope. <laughs> it lied to me. It said 45 degrees. I mean, I have a disproportionately large tolerance to just the grid layout, mostly because it's actually efficient. It's generally the main reason why I, I stick with it. You, you really... You really... You really grind my gears here, bro. There you go. 45 to 45. That is me. That is my man with the plan. Um, now we're going to... Grab that. I like how it, it offsets the angle again. I can never win. There we go. So it's all going to zigzag in and out. Now I'm starting to think, should I give them access to the other city? I don't feel like I should. We should just have like a walled guard in here. <laughs> um, snowplows really need to show up. I mean, damn. I'm definitely going to need, like, small alleyways and shit just to fill in this, these centers. What if I did that? <laughs> Would anyone be okay with that? Actually, I could use these uh, pedestrian walkways. They probably do a better job, and they probably look nicer. I mean, they're not main streets, but they probably do uh, quite a decent job. Then I could use pedestrian pathways to kind of... Not pedestrian path, like these are pedestrian pathways, but I mean, um, the little uh people walkways to kind of iron them out. See, so something like this, and then something you know, like this. I kind of want just small businesses in the center area, nothing too crazy. So I can have something like that and that. You know, for for the back doors of these folks. Because I want people along the street to just be a little bit... A little bit small time. Mostly because it's just the, the nature of the street, you know? The street just being supposed to be only uh, pedestrians only, therefore, it shouldn't be as large buildings. Although it it, it just really matter or depends on the choice of density I put here. That's all it really is at this point. Huh. In in going in attempting to make a non-conformal or a you know a different design. I'm ending up with something even crazier. Which, you know. No stone unturned with the with the uh, diversity and designs I'm willing to chase after here. At a certain point, I could just make it all artsy fartsy. Like have really crazy designs, especially when you zoom all the way out and it looks crazy. I am crazy Ron. This should be the last yeah, this is the last section. That is crazy looking. Okay, so let us continue with this, this. Will this actually continue in that direction? Holy shit, it will. Wow. And there's not a weird ass, you know, bend in the road. All right, so yeah, we could do that. Why not? <laughs> uh, 
yeah, it's starting to dawn on me that I should I should give people other other ways of getting here, I guess. So people going this way, they're gonna go this way, and they're gonna turn this way. Um, folks going this way will probably want to go back. Okay, so now this is actually a little more complicated than I realized, but we all learn somehow. We gotta learn from our mistakes. Even now, in doing a design that I feel like I should be familiar with, or not design, but a concept, because I mean, I've been plugging away at this type of thing for a while now. Still heated. This, this place definitely should have its own power generation as well. Let's see. I could chalk apartments like a uh, street side here next to the commercial areas, at least to give it a little, little bit of uh, diversity. Like, if I put apartments on the street side, they should be able to handle the density better, is what I'm getting at. Like, handle the uh, amount of people. Actually, I shouldn't cut across that just yet, because I, I still should... I should be putting roads across there. What the hell is that? Oh, road anarchy is on. That's why I was like, wh why am I able to cut across that? What is this, Sim, Sim City? I've never been able to cut across roads like that. And f for it to actually build intersections correctly. Well, there you have it. Um, I mean, it's something different. I'm 100% accepting of it, so. I mean, someone has to. Uh, let's put, since I do plan on putting um, apartments here. Let's do paved on this intersection. Don't even know what to name this area just yet. Yes, yeah, like with the road anarchy, I can also just drive the path all the way across. Although it's gonna make weird texture planing on the uh, on the uh, roads that it intersects. So okay, so let's slowly grow out this area. First, let's make offices so people have a place to work. Give them some incentive. Let's give them parks. Kind of fill out these random corners here. Because, you know, make everybody happy. This should definitely be a one way. Like this. Uh, this port area. Mostly because. Uh. I know how trucks like to use this thing. So wait, how's the road? Uh, no, no. <laughs> there you go. Then I also need some sort of uh, snow dump. Which, funnily enough, if I if I put it if I put it here, and then I change the seasons over. It's going to be like, yeah, well, um, we don't really have a place or we don't really need it anymore. So it'll be a park of sorts, which I'm kind of okay with. It would be nice to have a park out front here. But let's make it on this other street so that they actually have, you know, room to quote unquote escape. Because like if it's just a one way street and it gets saturated with trucks, it's not going to go anywhere like it won't. These will probably have to turn to one-way streets eventually as well. Mostly just to mitigate the traffic issues that will surely arise from my design here. So there you go. We got a, we got a section of street. 
you know what, to simplify things, especially with this going to be mostly truck full of workplaces, we could probably bury a tunnel. Like, I'm okay with that. I mean, Road Anarchy is going to have to be involved, but we could bury some sort of tunnel here. Or is it? Ah, you guys suck. <laughs> I'm like, I want to bury a tunnel here, but they decide otherwise. So what kind of road can I bury here? Like, I want to bury something and make a connection. That's really all I want to do. So, like, if I do... If I bury that... That's a pretty steep tunnel, but, you know... It's okay. <laughs> That's that connection right there. Then anything I want to... Br if I try to make a connection there, it's probably going to be weird. Like a, like a park, I mean. Because I'll have to do something like... That. Then sink it. Because dirt, dirt pathways can't can't be bridged, essentially. This is probably going to have to turn into something crazy as well, like a four-lane or something, because there's going to be a lot of traffic coming through here. So I'll probably have to split it and put another tunnel somewhere here. Whoever lives here is going to be a, a lot peeved. I, I was going to say a little bit peeved, but I'm like, no, he's going to be completely annoyed that there's a tunnel in his backyard, which so I'll put a park next to it. There you go. So he won't be as annoyed. Hell, I can just surround it with parks so no one really notices it. Just like one on each side. Keep people away from the noise. It depends It depends on how that turns out, to be honest. I mean, if, if it becomes ultimately a really noisy thing. I'm only doing this, or I only destroyed this right now because I want to see something. Yes, I can actually adjust it. I forgot about that elevated elevation mod. See, space already occupied. I'm like, that's not even that bad. There you go. See, that is really tame. I actually like that a lot better. Because realistically, I didn't need that damn tunnel to be that tall, or that pathway to be that tall. Like, that tunnel doesn't take up much space. For the love of God, why does it have to be that tall? That freakishly tall. Speaking of pedestrian tunnels, okay, wow, I thank you, past me. Past me had the foresight to add tunnel. Tunnel add, very good. Can I bury one right here? Well, I can't bury a dirt one, obviously, but... I guess I can only do 12 increments of 12 with this uh, specific... Right there. Oh, so it actually matches up as well. There you go. So now there's a connection between these two as well. They they oddly go under the uh, train tunnel, but hopefully that doesn't that isn't a problem. Uh, what else? I could have them pop out on this side as well. I mean, we can share the we can share the love here. Slope too steep. You guys suck. <laughs> Did I make it 24? It should be 12, yeah. So why is it so steep? Oh no, someone activated the road anarchy. There we go. I mean, seriously, it says it's too steep. It looks like, it looks just fine. There doesn't need to be a, a tunnel from here to here because there are, there is a sidewalk present, so. There's no power. I like how that snow thing needs a, needs power. Yeah, if this becomes bad, I'm definitely gonna one way one way to shit. Um, I just don't know how I'm gonna one way it though. See, that would be too steep of a turn to make it turn right. But that's like the only way I could make that be reasonable. Um, I don't know what is blocking this up. 
To which I say, yep, it's clogged. So let's 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 make a nice problem worse. There you go. Look, look, the color changed. So it's no longer clogged. Let's just ignore the fact that I just completely uh <laughs> I completely wiped out the traffic. That's the only reason why the uh, traffic is doing okay now. I'm tempted to make a weird design on this one too. Why? Because why not? Let's, um, uh, hmm. There you go. Well, something like that. This will seem a little ass backwards, but we're going to make this one way so that only traffic can come from this direction. So that people aren't making really a, a really sharp ass turn to the right here, because with this type of turn, they have to slow down a lot to make that turn. And speeds are something you have to be aware of, because if they have to slow down a lot to, just to make a simple turn, that will ad adversely affect traffic down the line. So, God. this thing is uh, this thing's looking unique. I gotta say. As I say, artsy fartsy. I mean, then you got something like this, which you can't really make heads or tails other than the fact that there's just a hellish freeway to the north.